darling what a wonderful world i see my makeup i thought i'd do purple because i've got a green top on so it's kind of like the opposite of ariel but it's not really because obviously she has a green tail and then she has a purple bra and then she has red hair but i've got red hair purple makeup green top logic I have such a hyper fixation with Little Mermaid 2, you have no idea. Um, the song that I recently heard again is actually 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 This is the reason why humanity was a mistake. It's self centered, but Melody is such a cute little name and it just fits me so well. But anyway, just having a little, little, little kid and just singing. I love it. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I don't have long to film as always so let's get on with it i do absolutely hate this hair and makeup and the way that my brow is sticking out but oh, just please bear with me because i just i'm having a nightmare it's red hot i wasn't even going to film this because of how like sweaty i am getting tmi i'm getting so sweaty hello everyone and welcome back to the youtube channel how are you i hope you're all doing well in today's video we are going to be starting a new series and well it's kind of new kind of sort of sort of kind of new um it's still gonna be a pinterest video it's still gonna be themed around pinterest videos but it is going to be like fantasy core something fantasy core or something mythical creature core it's so far in my little head we have mermaid core um, goblin core which I cannot wait for and fairy core which I've had on my Pinterest for quite a while I've just not made a video on it so if you have any more suggestions on what type of things you want to see along those lines please don't forget to comment down below I would very much appreciate it it wasn't me who came up with this idea it was actually the discord so if you did want to go and hop over there and drop a couple more suggestions then feel free but today if you can't tell from the beginning we are going to be kickstarting off with mermaid core this is probably one that I had the most fun curating just because this is so far out of my comfort zone it's not even funny but like it's something that I enjoy looking at like aesthetically mermaid core like with the pearls and the shells and the sparkles and the pastel colours and things like that super duper fun it's just something that I never look at I'm more goblin core I'm definitely goblin core the lines on my forehead are ridiculous I'm a very expressionate person if you can't tell but might have to stay like this for the rest of the video okay so as usual this video will be split up into three sections that will be clothing accessories and home decor and everything that i speak about today will be linked down below in the description as per usual if that's something you're interested in then please keep on watching but without further ado let's get into it my darlings okay so first up we have clothing so one of the main things that I found in clothing is this type of pattern, I need to move over, is this type of pattern which is basically crocheting a bunch of tiny little fish, shells, starfish and then joining them all together with netting and it looks really super duper cool. There's quite a couple of things, I've got dresses, I've got bralettes, I've got tops, this one is my favourite, this long sleeved cropped top absolutely adorable and it and it's got crochet shorts as well so why not take a little bit in spell from that as well and then there's this bralette uh, like another bralette as well which is blue they're not as small as the other ones like the other ones are, like really small pieces like all put together but this one's a pretty big one and then riding off the back of that is this top i'm presuming it's a top or a bralette but it basically it's a close-up of the bottom which again is like netting and then it's got little shells fish starfish all attached to the bottom i thought that were a cute little accent that you could add to any clothing piece really we have this really cute bikini set given very much aerial with a purple shell top and then some blue bottoms I added this little kids dress in here as well because I'm always on the search for like kids clothing because I've got siblings and things like that. There's this absolutely adorable like mesh type. It reminds me of, um, is it a sea foam? No it's not, sea sponge, sea sponges? It reminds me of that type of pattern anyway and it's baby blue and it's got little frills on it, super duper adorable, very mermaid core. Then we have this very much standout mermaid bra which is super duper cute it's just got a little ombre moment with pearls all going up the cup we have this slouchy shoulder type corset thing it's got like frilly sleeves and this is like purple and like all pearlescent colors with little ribbons on then we have quite a few more mermaid shell 
bralette top type things as well. Then we have this one which I've definitely mentioned before. I think it might have been in my summer one, I'm not too sure. But it's this absolutely just breathtaking top and it's pink and it's got the little shell cups but then it's got a shell in the middle and it's all pearlescent and there's all different types of stitches in there. It's a baby pink and then it's got like accents of a little bit of a darker pink but this is just like scrum diddly umptious like <laughs> and then there's a very very similar one in like a beige white colour as well. It's giving quite regal this one so I thought that, that was pretty cool as well like a little regal top but it's mainly mermaid, yeah, mermaid, Barbie mermaid, yeah. There's this really cool, I, this, is this classed as crochet? I don't think it's classed as crochet, it's literally just sewing, but I wanted to include it in here anyway. And it's all pearls and it's got all these jewels and seashells just like dripping off of it and it's just absolutely stunning. This is not crochet, but I just wanted to include this in here anyway because I thought it was a waste, just my eyes seeing it. When I was searching mermaid car, so... Your eyes can enjoy it now too. There's this really cute uh, little like mini dress as well with long sleeves, frills, it's got little holes, it's very like meshy and this just reminds me of like coral, like it isn't like boom mermaid core but it just reminds me of coral so I thought I'd include it especially with the little ombre bits, so I thought this was super duper cool. I'm gonna absolutely butcher this name but there's a top and it's called the Ner- is it Nerid? It's like mermaid but N- Nerid? N-E-R-E-I-D. Nerid? Nerid? No read, read, read. Read. But anyway, it's a long sleeve top and it's blue, meshy, fun mermaid. Then last but certainly not least is the siren dress which again super duper adorable with the mesh. Um, there seems to be a little bit of a theme here and the blue and the tie at the top and it'd just be super duper cute for a summer's day or for holiday or a little cover up for the beach. But yeah that's everything that I've curated in the clothing section. If I've missed anything I'll be sure to pop it here. But let's move on to accessories my dudes. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like accessories is where I have had the most fun. Um, it, basically with these things, like I've already done the fairy core one, like I said, and I was very much in the shoes of like, if I was Tinkerbell or if I was, you know, a fairy, I mean, I'd be a garden fairy, I feel. Probably, I feel like I'd be fawn. I don't know. Anyway, no one cares. Um, if I was fairy, what would I wear? Or if I was like a fairy that turned human, what would I wear that was so fairy, so human that I could get away with being a fairy human? Do you know what I mean? So I'm thinking, <laughs> this is very much like aquamarine, so like if I was a mermaid that turned into a human but I still wanted to be a mermaid, what would I wear? That's my explanation for these. We have, boom, shell bags, absolutely amazing, found a bunch of those, there's like actual like looks like shells and then there's like fun shells, so there's like blue with like ribbons and pearls on, there's this beautiful like iridescent rainbow one as well. We have a lot of jellyfish in here, whether it be jellyfish that you hang on your bag or there's a load of like hats, these jellyfish hats that I found are super duper adorable, they remind me of the jellyfish off of a shark tail love that movie. There's a bunch of just like small bags, tote bags, backpacks that are just done in like such an oceanic, is that even a word? But like in such a it's sea forward way. These words that I'm making up honestly but they're just accessorised with like jellyfish and starfish, goldfish and they just have pearls and floral and just you know they just remind me of mermaids so that's why I've added them. There's this green one as well which is absolutely adorable. There's this white one that has little um what's it called surface stitching is it with like jellyfish and stars and things like that. There's this sea turtle tote bag absolutely adorable Um these are done with like granny squares I'm presuming but it looks like a kiwi it looks like a kiwi turtle adorable ad ad adorable. <laughs> we have this little it's either a card holder or a passport Oh, like it could be a phone case actually I'm not quite sure but this is just like 
the sea there's this little swirly bag as well this little with all different types of blues in some whites and then they've stuck like seashells and pearls to it so obviously very mermaid forward then we have this goldfish bag which is absolutely adorable little satchel this reminds me of the um ones that i've made like the whale and the strawberry jam bag and then last but certainly not least for accessories we have this bonnet now I can't exactly explain what, I mean I can, it reminds me of an angel fish but I am not sure, I think it's taken inspiration from Melanie Martinez's um, portal skin, you know like her like character that she has in portals um, with the cool pink ears and like the full pink face with the big black eyes. But I can't, I can't find anything on it apart from like one Melanie Martinez um, fan account that's commented on it. So I think that's what it is. But it just reminds me of a fish. It just reminds me of a fish. Or like, um, do you know the sirens off of uh, Harry Potter? It reminds me of those. It just, I love it. I really love it. And I actually think I want to make one because I'm so in love with it. And I think it'd really suit me. Do you? like I think it'd really suit me so yeah we're absolutely flying through these I do apologize if I'm not saying much but honestly they're so intricate and beautiful that I think they just speak for themselves but yeah that's everything from accessories and now we're going to move on to home decor <laughs> So like I said for accessories, home decor is very much if you were to walk into my apartment and I was a mermaid and nobody told you, then this is what my apartment will be filled with. Um, we're starting off with this huge whale shark. <sighs> Absolutely adorable. I, I need to, I just need to crochet something big. Like I just need to crochet a big plushie. Like I want a big plushie. Either this or the snake from the pride video that I did the other week. Mm. This is very similar to the goldfish bag that I showed you in accessories, but it's to put rocks in and make your own little pet rock fish. Who doesn't want a pet rock fish? I need to move this aside. Then we have this little basket, which is a shell, absolutely adorable. And then some shell wall hang hangings that you can put stuff in, like your toiletries and things like that. This is just normal blue whale, but it's got hexagon like granny squares as the actual whale, instead of just all repetitive crochet it's little granny squares all stitched together we have this absolutely freaking adorable starfish with these buggy eyes and i absolutely love him the little the little no no nodule the little bobbly bits that they've put on his different arms absolutely adorable and then we have this octopus uh, there's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of octopus patterns but i just think this one is very what's the word so i think i said it in my whimsy goss video but there's this certain type of teddy that i like which looks kind of vintage it's kind of like a vintage teddy um and this octopus really really reminds me of it um then there's this link to these 21 crochet seashells i thought that'd be very cool whether the 3d uh, seashells or whether like little applique appliques 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 little appliques obviously i had to include this this was in the summer crochet ideas which is the turtle blanket it's like sand and water when they meet and then like the turtles this doesn't scream mermaid core but it does scream ocean to me just because of the colors that they've used and this is just a little hanging basket you can put anything in there i'd put my yarn in there i think it's for pets i think it's for like cats to go and lay in which is super duper adorable don't even get me started oh i also added this other octopus as well which i thought was super duper cool it's kind of it's more well it's kind of it's definitely more intricate because when you flip it up it's got all of the little details of its suck suckers on and then last but certainly not least this is just it's a little bit something different i guess but it's a free pattern on hobby 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 i read that as hobby either one you know the website um but this is just basically like knots and crosses but with octopi and starfish which is just absolutely adorable and a fun little game and obviously if i was a mermaid i'd have a big one in the middle of my room because i don't know why not but yeah that is everything that i have curated um for mermaid core i hope you enjoyed i hope it's everything that you wanted it to be like I said, I'm taking this on the approach that everything that I choose, I would wear if I was that mythical creature but was pretending to be human. 
It was really fun researching all of these things, but if you do have any more ideas, then please let me know down below. Or if you would like part two, I'm sure I'll be able to do a part two. There was so many, a lot more than what I've said. Like I said earlier, if you did want to go and join the Discord and let me know about any other ideas that you have, please feel free to. I'm more active over there, I would say, than on my community post, but I try my very best to do both. Keep an eye out on the community post. Oh my god, keep an eye out on the community post because I will be having a lot more polls up there and things like that and asking for feedback just because I've been really enjoying it and finding it quite useful. I'm gonna try my very best to be active these next couple of weeks, but it's like my it's my birthday on the 30th of June and I'm turning 24, so I feel like I'm gonna have a little bit of a, a little bit of a live crisis when that happens. Crying? No, I wasn't It's humid outside, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have never seen a more embarrassing display in my entire career. <laughs> Um, and then I've got a couple things happening with Maya. I'm going through to Maya's for two weeks in the middle of July. So I'm going to try and make as much content as I can before that just in case I don't you know, I always say to you, I'm going to make some even though I'm at Maya's and I have all intent to and then I just don't because I end up having so much fun. But I will actually try my very best this time. Um, if you did want to help out in any way, then I do have a buy me a coffee. I, I think it's like three pound per coffee and everything that I have with that will be going back into the channel for yarns, machines, different, you know, like ordering off places, things like that. I also have an Etsy. If you do want to check that out, I've put a bunch of new crochet stuff up. But yeah, that is it from me, my lovely dumplings. And I will see you in the next one under the sea. Under the sea, under the sea. Anyway, love ya. Mm -hmm.